fun test you can see where we look at all types of fun for the kids' preview. Today we'll be looking at Lego Friends Pods. So the Lego Friends Pods kind of reminds, reminds me of the Ninjago Pods that we did in our previous video or, or in one of our videos if you want to say. So here we have Andrea's Pod. Let's share from the back. We have Emma's pod with, I mean, Mia's pod with a picture of her on the back. Like the cartoon version of them. Emma's, Emma's pod with a version of her on the back. Stephanie's pod with a picture of her. She looks like she's a sports gal. And Olivia, our tech person. With the picture of her on the back. They kind of changed up how they made it look like they changed the logo and Olivia's skin tone in the pictures of all of them. But I am very excited. And these were all $11 each. So it was $55 in all, I think. If I counted correctly, which is kind of a lot. But I am very excited to start, start opening. Oh, and I forgot. I have a Lego Friends watch. Oh, how oddly. Comparison that was. <laughs> what my lucky day. Oh wait, I don't need to open it. It has this little thing so you don't need to use scissors. You see this little dotted thing? You just have to open it. Like press it down. And just go from there. Take that purple thing off. And out of your way. And then you get your pod. It also has some like a flashy thing, almost like our. Uh, okay, that probably just backfired. Okay, and we're back. Okay, we're So this is Mia's pod and Andrea's so far and this we're about to open up Emma's pod. <laughs> ah! What was that? Okay, we're good. Here we have Emma's pod. And we have Stephanie's pod. Can't see if it's gonna flash, but it just might. Okay. And we have Olivia's pod. These are all of them. finally done unboxing all of these pods so let's start to build
guys, we are finally done building this, these pods in this. So this is Stephanie's pot, Andrea's pot, Olivia's pod, Mia's pod, if I can say it correctly, and Emma's pod. And they have these little flashy thingies. It goes from the logo to the character. Okay, so first I am going to show you Stephanie's pod first. So over here we have her little doggy. I'm gonna put that back. He's gonna wanna stay there. Little doggy treat. Um goggles like some kind of ladder flippers a life saver one of those things now i'm not talking about the candy well it kind of does look like the candy but it's a lifesaver a water bottle um horn a star and this is what she looks like i can take her out is what she looks like. So she can attach right here. And this is what it looks like on the back. So here we have Andrea's pod. I couldn't get her um, headphones to stay, but you can just leave her headphones like right here because they get really annoying. She has her little pet bird. You are not a woodpecker. <laughs> Is her mic? I uh, can't get it out. Some kind of radio player? Nope, it's not gonna work. Uh, Bob beat things like an amp. And this is what she looks like. And you, you can attach this onto her bird. And the little sunglasses um, that she had her the goggles, you can attach that on her dog in there. But you can also attach the headphones to the bird if it will cooperate. But it's way, way too big. And she has a gold mic. So... If you ever have Lego Friends sets and you also have all the Lego Friend pods and if you're missing any characters from the Lego Friends sets that you have, you can always rely on the pods and just use those and um, substitute the ones that are from the sets for, to the ones that are from the pods. Oh, wait, no, wrong. It was Olivia's. <laughs> oh, silly me. Oh, no, she fell out. And she has this gadget necklace thingy, and she has glasses. Maybe one day I'll show you a comparison of the old Olivia to the new Olivia. Oh gosh, that totally just backfired. Uh, I don't know what this is. This looks like some kind of satellite for Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Probably more tech stuff. Like a drill thingy. I can't get it off, but I'm going to try to get it back on again. A small list or something for testing. A robot. A my... No, walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkie. I don't know what I'm talking about today. Some kind of weird computer thing in the bottom. And if you just flip this up, she has a Teeny tiny little phone there. Right here. Right here. If you can see it better from there. <clears throat> nope. 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 I'm going to try to get it out some other time. I think it's in my other set. So I'll show you with my other set. But Okay. This is what it looks like from the whole thing. Now it's time to close her up and do something else. Let me guess, now it's Mia's turn. Then after that, it's Emma's turn. I'm carrying Okay, yay, this is Mia's and it's probably that totally backfired. 
Okay, that totally backfired. She fell out and this fell out. This is, if you're wondering what this is, this is like the, one of those little carrier, carry. This is not cooperating properly. Oh, I kind of get it now. She can hold it like right here uh, and no. Maybe? Yes? Oh, okay. So she, it's like a little stroller for her pet bunny. Ah! Don't want to ride on one of those. I want my, uh, um, Olivia might need those extra parts. So she, the bunny can just be riding and not do any hopping that day. So if he's chill, like, I don't want to do anything. He can totally go on that bunny. And she has a little helmet I cannot attach it on. But I think if you take off her hair, you can attach it on. But it looks really, really weird. I'm going to tell you now, if you take off her hair and then put the um, helmet on, it looks super weird. If I try this, it looks even weirder. But I can attach it on today. I don't really know if you can see it. Oh, wait. Let me put this to the side. Okay. Um, I also had extra flower pieces, so I had to put them in over here. Let me put it back so I can show you something really cool. Over here on the back, it's at the bottom. It's like a little map, a castle map. And whenever she wants to go hunting, or like, I mean, um, exploring, she has her small, Teeny tiny um, uh, looking thingy, I forgot. There's a compass in here. There's a small little compass. And, oh, that totally backfired. A small jug of milk and some treats. Okay, now our last character is Emma. <laughs> is what she looks like. She loves purple and I love the color of her shoe. It's like a light teal, a baby teal. I love it. A baby blue if you want to call it. There's also this little holder for her bow that again you can attach to her. All these little accessories that can go on the doll's head, you can fit it on their pet head. Or their um Let's just say a uh, robot's head. No offense, Olivia, if you can hear me. And you can attach it on a little thing. Ah! She is a photographer, and it reminds me of my... Wait. Let me... Ugh. We're just going to put that on her. <sighs> And over here she has her little, little cat. And she, as I said, <coughs> wow. She has a small camera that she can actually hold if I can get this on properly. <sighs> because um, when I was younger, my dad told me he was a photographer, so Emma kind of reminds me of my dad, which is really cool. She can hold it over here. Uh, and one of those things that I think my dad has too is this weird, I don't even know thingy. I'm just gonna put that here. No, oh, no, I'm gonna have her hold it. You're going to hold and do some pictures. Uh, let me turn it around. Okay, and there's a little doggy treat right here. Her cat is really, really detailed. A lot of pets are really detailed. This is what it looks like. I don't know what these are, but they're definitely something. It is time to wrap it up. This is what I think about all the toys, or pods, what you want to call them. I love this, their size. 
can carry them around anywhere. If you just get bored in the car, you can open it up and go like, yay, I have a Lego. And then you can have the whole thing and bring it with you. So if you ever get bored, you have a little plaything, which is adorable. I also love the fact that they come with the characters so you don't have to find the characters themselves. And it also tells a lot about their personalities. Like, for example, Olivia, she's a really um, mechanical person who likes tech. So in the inside, she has like all types of stuff that looks mechanical and really, really cool, which really tells a lot about her. So if you don't know about the Lego Friends series, you'll be like, oh, I think Olivia is some, some, torpo, some type of people some type of person who likes electronics and building things with robots and stuff. So it describes a lot about the characters and they pay a lot of detail as much to the pods as the sets, which makes it feel very, 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 very equal. And I also love the fact about all those little details that they put into there. It's almost like a mini room for them. Like, it's almost like their bedroom and a carry-along for them for all their journeys, like Mia, who's trying to unpack. Okay, that's not going to work. And these were very fun, and the fact that they have all the characters is very, very fun, too. And in the background, I didn't know if you could see, but if you take out the characters, you can see, like, a little painting thing with their color. So, like, for instance, Emma's color is purple. There's also, like, a light blue, I think, a dark blue. And, like, they all have different colors, too, which is really, really, really cool. So they have their own unique thing in the back, so it tells more about them, which is really cool. But I also love the fact that they come with little pets and companions if they ever get a little lonely, even for Olivia. She has, I said companions because she has a robot in there. <laughs> and the others are pets. She's lonely with the only robot. Which is really cool and being unique. <laughs> and uh, um, a way I re would relate to these characters, I'd say mostly like Olivia. And which one am I looking for? I don't know, but I love all of them and it inspires a girl to be very passionate and friendly and kind and all those things that you can do. For instance, Stephanie is a girl and she loves sports, which I like sports, more like of a martial art, but I also do like sports a bit. We're sports fans. Go Cubs! Hey. And so we're finally done playing with these super fun pods. I'm very feeling very pod lucky. <laughs> hey, it's a corny joke my dad told me when I told it to him. <laughs> so I give these toys hum. maybe a one thumbs up or a or a one thumbs up and a half thumbs up. Cause I kind of wish they made these a lot bigger. Like, cause imagine like a bigger, a really bigger pod and it had like their bedroom in it. Cause I might have to ask them to do that. <laughs> or if I become a little creator, I'll try to do that. So these were really, really fun. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, fun lovers, fun testers, fun seekers, whatever you want to call it with fun. Bye! I'm going to take these pods home. Bye! Kind of jokes. I'm being very hot lucky.